Zen and express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Each individual investor's situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by securities regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to securities or investment advisory products. Fixed insurance and annuity product guarantees are subject to the claims paying ability of the issuing company. Not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. All rates reserved. The Big K Morning Show with Larry and Marty. Breaking news and making a difference. When did you reimagine that Pittsburgh downtown was going to be a, a place where people would want to live, and that's certainly come true. We've always had great hopes that, that our city would continue to be a beacon for the region. The Big K Morning Show with Larry and Marty. Weekday mornings, 5.30 till 10 on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. Is your life moving in the right direction? Or are you feeling lackluster about your dreams, your goals, and your future? We can help. Watch Hope Today for creative and practical ideas on how to live a life of faith in 2023. From work to family to health and money, we believe every situation has a solution. And we take a closer look at all of it on Monday through Friday on Hope Today at 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Cornerstone Television Network. That's Verizon Fios Channel 505 or Channel 805 on Comcast Xfinity. If you are struggling with weight and frustrated with dieting each and every year, Mark Patrick seminars can help. After this hypnosis, I want to eat good food. Since August, I can honestly say I have not had one potato chip. It was life-changing for me. And I don't think about desserts like I used to. Bridget, how much have you lost now? I lost a total of 83 pounds. Holy cow. It's easy, it's fun, very relaxing, and very successful. And I would just say go for it. What are you waiting for? Join Mark Patrick Seminars and lose the weight or stop smoking. Early bird special, only $49.99. Hypnosis designed to destroy unwanted cravings. Late day eating binges, boredom eating, stress eating. Seminar Thursday, July 13th at the Holiday and Express and Suites, Pittsburgh and Green Tree, 875 Green Tree Road. Weight loss seminar, 530. Stop smoking seminar, 8. Or Saturday, July 15th at the Doubletree Hotel, Monroeville Convention Center. Weight loss seminar, 11. Stop smoking seminar, 2. Registration 30 minutes before. Sign up at Mark Patrick Seminar. Seminars.com. MarkPatrickSeminars.com. Beauty, durability, and value. For a limited time, get free installation on any NatureStone garage floor. Call or visit NatureStone.com to schedule your free cost estimate. Spots are filling up quickly, so act now. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's NatureStone. 100.1 FM and AM 1020 KDKA. Covered by JP Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing company. All the news you need for your day and the sports, music, and podcasts you love are all on the free Odyssey app. Download now. KDKA and KDKA FM HD2 Pittsburgh. W261 AX Pittsburgh. Always live on the free Odyssey app. From the Aetna Medicare Solution Studio. Proud to be the voice of Pittsburgh. 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA News Now. It's 69 degrees at Pittsburgh International at 9 o'clock. I'm Pat Septak. Those hoping for a break from the rain as we head into the 4th of July holiday may be disappointed. AccuWeather meteorologist Dean DeVore says, I'm going to have a lot of complaints again this weekend because it is not going to be a standard situation where you get long, dry spells. I think we're going to be dodging showers and thunderstorms again. It looks like that pattern continues into the middle of next week, right in the beginning of the 4th of July holiday there for early next week. And we'll have the complete AccuWeather forecast coming up. A small but desperately needed win in the battle against drug addiction. Allegheny County saw fewer overdose deaths in 2022. News Radio KDKA Shelby Cassesi has the data. 
In its finalized 2022 data, the Allegheny County Health Department reported 689 overdose deaths last year, compared to 719 in 2021. Though it's clear a lengthy and difficult battle with drug addiction remains for public health officials, it's the first time overdose deaths have decreased in the county since 2018. Fentanyl remains a major factor. The extremely dangerous synthetic opioid was involved in 85% of county overdose deaths, a higher rate than in 2021. Exactly halfway through this year, preliminary data shows there have been 185 overdose deaths in 2023, on pace for 370. Should that be reality by the end of the year, it would be the lowest number of overdose deaths since 2014. Shelby Cassassi, News Radio, KDK. Two clubs have been shut down by the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office. Club Energy on Cowie Street and the lobby on the Bellsman Street side of Brownsville Road were closed down because, according to the sheriff, They were nuisance properties. He claims they were operating without liquor licenses and were creating safety concerns. The two businesses have hearings scheduled next Wednesday. Pennsylvania starts the new fiscal year without a budget. Policy disagreements, especially over a proposed school voucher plan, stand in the way, and there's no sign that a budget deal will be reached anytime soon. With the warmer weather comes an uptick in the number of visits to the emergency room. AHN's Dr. Kip Jennifer talked about that on the BK Morning Show. Yeah, summertime, you know, obviously the the longer daylight hours and um, kids are out from school and stuff like that. So we definitely see an uptick in in children and and just summertime related injuries and stuff like that. Studies show ER visits surge around holiday weekends like Independence Day and Labor Day. They're back. The Furries have returned to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center this weekend for Anthrocon, which began Thursday and continues through Sunday. On the Big K Morning Show, visit Pittsburgh's president and CEO, Jared Bacher, talked about why conventions like Anthrocon are so popular. A lot of the reasons why those are so successful is because of the of the ease of location of where Pittsburgh is. So within four hours, there's such a dense population. It's easy for people to get in. When it comes to conventions, our convention center, the downtown hotels, restaurants, Pittsburgh itself as a destination, people like how this city works for conventions. For details on Anthrocon, go to visitpittsburgh.com. KDKA Sports. Last night at PNC Park, it was an 8-7 to walk-off victory for the Pirates against the Brewers. They play again this afternoon. First pitch at 4.05 on 93.7 The Fan. KDKA Radio News Time is 9.04. Time to call Wilson's Pharmacy for the best prices on generic Viagra. Visit wilsonspharmacy.org. The AccuWeather forecast is next. Coons Market provides extra customer savings every day. It's what makes Coons such a special place in your neighborhood. Coons provides double value on manufacturer coupons up to 99 cents each day. Coons always has terrific price specials exclusively for Coons Reward members. Don't have a reward card? Sign up at CoonsMarket.com or at any of the eight Coons Market stores. Here are some of the great specials available today at Coons. The savings you can see with your Coons Reward card. Fresh Express Old Fashioned Cold Slum Mix, 14-ounce bag, a dollar each. Thinly sliced margarita hard salami or sandwich pepperoni, five eighty eight a pound, and America's favorite Heinz tomato ketchup, large thirty eight ounce bottle, only two ninety nine each. Great, Frank. Coons Market, quality selection, friendly service, and extra customer savings that give you more for your grocery budget each time you shop at Coons. Shop at one of Coons eight store locations or shop online at CoonsMarket.com for convenient curbside pickup. Coons Market, a Pittsburgh tradition. The KDKA AccuWeather Forecast is brought to you by J.P. Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing replacement contractor. Call 412-829-7711. Variable cloudiness for today with a thunderstorm or two. Humid high of 81. We'll continue to see a thunderstorm in spots for tonight. Low of 67. Couple heavy thunderstorms for tomorrow. Storms can bring damaging winds and hail. High 78. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Matt Benz on 100.1 FM and AM 1020 KDKA. KDKA Radio News Time is 9.05. Our next update at 9.30. I'm Pat Septak on the Voice of Pittsburgh News Radio KDKA.
The following is paid for by MediConnect. Information on the program is intended to solely further the public's general knowledge about the product. Opinions expressed should not be relied upon for any purpose by any member of the audience. News Radio KDKA does not guarantee the accuracy of any of the information aired on the following program. These are the people, the movers and shakers, the businesses, the people you know in your community who make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM. AM 1020, KDKA. All right, before we do anything, let's say thank you to Elaine Cole, who was here last week with Sean, Social Security Administration. So finally, I did it. I'm so happy I did it. It's amazing. And I did it within 20 minutes, filled out that profile, which everybody said it was easy. You've said it was easy. Mr. Clark is over there nodding. Everybody said it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. I always procrastinate only when it has to do with me. Everybody else, I take care of it now. This is what blew me away, Lauren and uh, Mr. Clark. I've been paying Social Security since 1976. Wow. Woo. And you see your life go by in front of your eyes looking at those years. <laughs> but the good news is the other thing that the government gets right is Medicare. So this is the place to be when it comes to Medicare, MediConnect, bridging the health care gap. They make Medicare simple. 888-818-6334. We got a great guest in studio. You're going to be hearing a lot more from him in the weeks and months to come on the Inside Connection. But here is your host, one of the best at what she does in the business of Medicare, working for MediConnect, Lauren Uran. Hey, how are you? Good morning, Rob. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm a whole lot better after last week's guest, that's for sure. I was blown away. That's what I was saying to you before the show, you know, I know what I know. I know the Medicare plans. I've been doing this for, you know, 13, 14 years, something like that. And when you have somebody like that, I'm just like, wow. It's a, it, it, it shows me what I love about this industry because I'm a constant learner. If I'm not able to learn, I'm going to get bored. And there's ever changing. There's so much information, but it's just amazing, you know, how, how, and again, this is why we're needed, right? Because it can be extremely confusing. There's so many pieces to it, but it is just phenomenal. Well, and the graphs and the, the paragraphs and the elements and the, the springboards, the variety and all the things that you need to know exactly where you are in that timeline and where you will be if you decide to wait to 68 or 70 or go at 62, they map it out right in front of you. And believe me, people who have more brain cells than me, when they say it's easy, I know it's going to be a challenge for me because <laughs> I, I, I was a kid, you know, going for the extra credit before the six weeks ever started. But everything <laughs> she said was spot on. It was one of the simplest things I've ever done. And the only thing I can say is I should have did it a year ago. Absolutely. Because I was a little intimidated by it. I thought, do I have to go to your office? Should I go in and talk to somebody at Social Security? But everything that she said was spot on and it was simple and it's done. And it's one more thing on the bucket list. It's finished. Wonderful. Well, you know, you're welcome over any time. I know. I thought about that. <laughs> I was listening and watching the podcast and I thought, yeah, I need to get over there because the place looks spectacular. And I know we have a special guest. We want to get to him. We have a lot of stuff to get to. So where do we begin today? All right. So, uh, you know, just kind of a preview for the show a little bit here. We're beginning our Medicare 101 segment um, of our program that we do each year. Um, so we're going to start breaking down each part of health coverage um, that many of the area seniors benefit from and to help make sure those mistakes are eliminated for those listeners. And also, you know, as we're approaching that annual enrollment period, right, we're breaking it all down. So by the time you get there, you'll be in the know. Um, so today we're actually going to be starting with Medicare Part A and the hospital portion of your health care. Uh, so we'll be talking to that. And I do I have a guest here today with me as well. So Mark Clark is going to be with us for the first time. Um, and I'd like to introduce our new associate manager. And, you know, Mark, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thanks, Lauren. It's great to be here with Rob and uh I am a Pittsburgh guy, grew up in Elizabeth Township, uh, went to Elizabeth Forward, uh, spent a lot of my life, I know I still look young, Lauren, that's a little joke of mine, <laughs> but uh, uh, I spent a lot of my life in ministry as a pastor and as a hospice chaplain, but a few years ago, uh, made a change in my life and started working for MediConnect, I couldn't be happier about it, because I love working with people, I always loved working uh, helping people in my life. And, uh, you know, this fits right into the wheelhouse. And so, uh, you know, been married to my wife for 33 years. I think she's probably listening at home. Hi, honey. Right. Wonderful. <laughs> and she works for us too. So, she does. uh, her name's Dawn. <laughs> hi, hi, hon. 
<laughs> awesome. Well, again, um, hospice you have mentioned, you know, yes. hospice chaplain. Uh, hospice fits into this topic today of Medicare Part A. So we'll Absolutely. be using some of your expertise. Excited to have you with us uh, today and in the months to come. Um, so as usual, we'll start the weekend um, with a little bit of fun to discuss some events in history that shaped our lives and society. So July 1st is the day, and let's dive into some history of July 1st before we get to that trivia question. So going all the way back to 1908, the SOS distress signal becomes the worldwide standard for help. In 1932, Franklin Delano Roosevelt is uh, wins the nomination for president, which is important still today because of his impact with Social Security, as we discussed last week with Elaine Cole and Rob had mentioned this morning. Moving ahead to 1956, Elvis Presley wore a tuxedo on his appearance of the Steve Allen Show. Fidel Castro nationalized Shell and Texaco in Cuba in the year 1960. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band goes number one in the United States, where it would stay for 15 weeks in the year of 1967. In 1982, Cal Ripon Jr. made the first of his record 2,216 consecutive starts. His Iron Man streak came to a quiet end on September 20th, 1998, at a number that will never be broken. 2,632 consecutive starts. 16 tra- straight years and never missed a game. They don't make them like they used to. Isn't that right? Um, and then we got a few birthdays today, too. So Debbie Harry from Blondie is 77 years old. And da- Dan Aykroyd is 70 today. So they're both Medicare eligible. Give us a call, guys, if you need some help. Um, <laughs> Princess Diana would have been 62 today. And then happy birthday to Pamela Anderson, who is now 55 years old. She's still 10 years out of that Medicare range. So, Pamela, you can give me a call, too, as you approach there. And, and I'll handle that account, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you in, Rob. You'll be, my, Thank uh, you. Thank you'll, you. you'll be my advisor. All right. Um, so we got that trivia. So if you're going to um, give us a call to answer this question, and we'll get you out a $15 gas card. And, Rob, what's the phone number for that trivia? 412-922-1020. 412-922-1020. All right. So give us a call there if you know, think you you know the answer. Um, so today's trivia question for a $15 gas gift card. Today marks the 60-year anniversary of a system designated to help you receive your packages more efficiently, which is still in use today. What is the system? So again, today marks the 60-year anniversary as a, of a system designed to help you receive your packages more efficiently, which is still in use today. What is the system? All right. Again, tell them about all the other things that you are all doing, especially those incredible seminars and other ways to plug into what you do. You have the podcast, obviously, Medicare in a Minute, and you have, yes, that Channel 2 streaming service at KDK Television that also gives everybody the things that they need to get their plan done with MediConnect. Absolutely. So, again, today we're going to break down Medicare Part A. Um, But if you check out our Facebook page, uh, MediConnect PGH on Facebook, our website, MediConnectInsurance.com, Um, or our YouTube channel, we have some different series that we've been um, pushing out there and they will break down. So Medicare in a Minute series is actually one minute segments that help educate you on the different pieces of Medicare. So, you know, if you just need a refresher or if you just want it broken down in a couple quick moments, um, it's a great place to start. We are also, again, hosting our podcast streaming live on KDA. KA CBS News on Sundays, but you can catch it if you missed it on our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook channel. And then, as always, if you'd like to meet us in person, we do have those seminars coming up. Um, so if you do um, want to register for a seminar, you can go to our website and check out the seminars tab, or you can give us a call, 888-818-6334. Live advisors standing by, and they can help you sign up for a seminar location. But July 6th at 6 p.m., we'll be at the Fairfield Inn in Washington, PA. July 11th at 6 p.m., Penn Hills Library um, on Stotler Road. And then July 11th, 6 p.m., will be at the A.H. and Hempfield Hospital in Greensburg. Also coming up, Butler, Coriopolis, Bethel Park, Glenshaw, Vandergriff. So check out that seminar tab because we're going to be in a place near you in the upcoming weeks. All right. Again, 888-818-6334 and MediConnectInsurance.com. Back with more of the Inside Connection on KDK in just a couple of minutes. The source you trust for news and information that matters. News Radio KDKA. Pirates baseball is in full swing. That's out into the grandstands and gone. O'Neill Cruz. With the free Odyssey app, local fans can listen live all summer long. Whether you're at the grill or at the pool. G1 Bay has done it. G1 Bay walks it off with a home run. 
baseball. Pirates announcers streaming live on the free Odyssey app. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Get in the game and download it today. Beauty, durability, and value. For a limited time, get free installation on any Nature Stone basement floor. Call or visit naturestone.com to schedule your free cost estimate. Spots are filling up quickly, so act now. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. The holiday tradition continues with the City of Pittsburgh Independence Day Fireworks, presented by Starfire, is at Point State Park. And KDKA Radio supplies the soundtrack. It's the Lamont Restaurant Fireworks Bonanza on 100.1 FM, KDKA Radio at 9.35 p.m. Get set for a special fireworks mix from TJ the DJ. Grab some grub when the party at Point State Park kicks off at 4 p.m. The KDKA KA Radio 4th of July Fireworks Celebration can be heard on 100.1 FM. Brought to you by Red Ribbon Soda, Pittsburgh's Pop, Jamaica's finest ginger beer. Details at kdkaradio.com. Did you know that now you can listen to all your favorite stations, including this one, shows and even podcasts all on the Odyssey app? Download it now. These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. All right, so Quinn from Pittsburgh is the winner, and here is the winning answer of this week's trivia question on the Inside Connection. Lauren. Thank you so much, Quinn, for giving us a call, and we'll get that gift card out to you when we return to the office. Uh, today's trivia question was, today marks the 60-year anniversary of a system designed to help you receive your packages more efficiently, which is still in use today. <coughs> Excuse me. And what is that system? Zip codes, established in 1963. All right, zip codes, 1963. And I've only lived in two, three different zip codes in my life, Mr. Clark, so I haven't done much but stay right here in western Pennsylvania, which is a good thing, right? That is good. Absolutely. Tell the folks a little bit about yourself, who you are, and uh, obviously your roots and things of that nature. And then we'll get back to Lauren. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. Mark Clark is my name. Uh, you know, my wife and I mentioned her. Her name's Dawn. We both work for MediConnect. Uh, we've got four kids, two girls, two boys. And uh, they're all growing up now. And so we're looking forward to, you know, our years of uh, actually... Rob, here I have some good news. Okay. I'm going to be a grandfather next month. Congratulations. Yeah, how about that for the first time? And so we're very excited about that. Our oldest son and uh, uh, his wife are going to be uh, having a kid. And, uh, you know, we're just excited about the whole thing. And by the way, I'm a big fan of the candy bar, too. Uh, well, <laughs> Don't you wish? I've heard that all my life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Clark Bar, right? Or uh, General Mark Clark, right? Yeah. I, right. Bought a, I had a teacher in high school. He always used to call me the general. So, uh, you know, that's uh, I got that all my life. And that's good. Hey, if I could live up to him. How right? great is it, though, going to become a grandparent? You're at that age that I'm at. And we're both these, like, not seniors, but baby boomers who are on the other side of things. But to be able to help people, our peers, this, the same age group, get through these waters and get them to that calmer part of the sea to make them realize that there's such opportunity out there. Right? Yeah. You know what, Robert, every, every day I'm glad to wake up to help people. My, my whole life has been about helping people. And, uh, I have, uh, I just love being able to give them the information they need so that they can make good decisions and good choices. And, uh, so it's really important to me to, to give them this information. So, all right, what do you say we start off, uh, and we'll get Lauren in here in just a couple of moments. Sure. So Medicare Part A, let's talk about Medicare Part A. What Absolutely. exactly is that? Go ahead. So Part A, yeah, you, everybody knows you have that red, white, and blue Medicare card, right? Either you have it or your family, somebody in your family like your parents have it. Part A is part of original Medicare. Original Medicare is Part A and Part B. Part A, think of it as hospital inpatient coverage. It's the coverage that's going to help you if you get admitted to the hospital. And so it's really important to understand how that works, though, uh, because uh, there's some details to it that people don't understand. How do you get Part A? Well, when you turn 65, you get on your Medicare Part A. If you have worked uh, 10 years and paid into the system, Rob, then you've paid for your Part A. It's either you or a spouse have worked for those 10 years, paid into the system 40 quarters, right? And so, as I like to say, 
it's premium free. Really, what that means is you paid for it already. <laughs> okay, but uh, it's here's the key factor: it's free to have, but it's not free to use. You have to understand that there's a deductible with Part A. You know, Rob, if you only have Part A and Part B right now, and I rushed you to the nearest hospital and they admitted you, you would owe sixteen hundred dollar deductible for. Uh, being admitted to the hospital. Now, that gets you a 60-day benefit period. It actually helps you that way. Uh, but then, Rob, if, if you go home from the hospital, you recovered well, and uh, uh, 61 days after I first took you, I take you back and they admit you again, you're going to owe that $1,600 again. And so it's really important to understand that Although Part A for most people is going to be premium free, it's not free to use. And uh, I, you, I could tell you stories about walking into people's homes. They're 80 or 85 years old. Nobody really educated them well about Medicare when they first got on. And so all they have is Part A and Part B. And I say, have you been in the hospital? And they say, yeah, a couple of years ago I was in the hospital and now I have this big bill that I'm paying because I was in there for a couple of weeks. You know, and I think too, something else, um, you know, that people people assume, you know, a hospital, right? But a does encompass a few other things, um, such as skilled nursing, hospice, and home health care. So, you know, we try to simplify it at the office and in our seminars by explaining it as it's basically rent or room and board of your hospital stay, but like you're stating mark you know you pay later and you know as they do have that deductible for your first 60 days what happens if you're in the hospital past 60 days which you yeah. know we always say the average hospital stays about four to five days but we just came out of covid right and we saw a lot of people in the hospital a lot more than four to five days 30 um, 40 days yeah. exactly so Absolutely. if you're on medicare and you get in the hospital past day 60 that day 61 um you're gonna start having a copay per day and that number changes a little bit every year. Mm -hmm. This year, I like the numbers because they're easy math. Easy um, remember, yes. But that is going to be four hundred dollars a day up until your ninetieth day. Right. And then at day ninety, you enter something called your lifetime reserve days, which lifetime it's once in a lifetime. Yep. So you get um, your lifetime reserve days, and those are eight hundred dollars a day. And then after, if you've been in for one hundred and fifty days. Now, 100% of that bill is going to fall on you, 100% of what's charged in the hospital. Right. Um, so, again, you're opening yourself up to potentially having a very high bill. Um, and I know you had mentioned that you had seen, you know, situations like that. And I definitely had one where, you know, it was a little bit different because the gentleman, he had VA coverage that was supposed to kick in but didn't. Mm -hmm. um, there were some paperwork errors and the billing wasn't done on time. So, he owed, it was about $20,000 yeah. for a hospital stay because he just had part A. And I know I've talked on here a couple of weeks in a row, you know, about those plans that we do have, the MA only plans for people that have VA as well as mm -hmm. Pace and PaceNet. But you can add a plan like that on for zero premium. Mm -hmm. And so you're not paying anything extra and you're getting that protection. You're getting that maximum out of pocket protection. And you're getting that protection if you're going outside of your network in an emergency situation. So, you know, just the impact of what can happen if you only have part A, um, it can be extreme. Well, you know what this tells me? I hear 1600 twice in a 60-day period. I drop everything I'm doing, and I call and make an appointment right now with MediConnect. That's right. And there's no charge for that appointment, right? No charge. No charge ever. Not ever. It's free to, free to meet with us anytime. You can call. I always say, call me 100 times. Meet with me 1,000 times. It's not going to cost you anything. And I want to just say, Lauren, I want to take a minute and say, people probably don't realize the compassion that our team has. I I just said to our team yesterday, I'm I am honored to be a part of a team like they are. We have a group of people in our sales force, our field agents, our inside sales agents that just love helping people. Uh you know, I think of some of them that, you know, they they've told me this is the perfect job for me, you know, because they 
They love uh, the medical field. They love insurance. I know it sounds funny, Rob, to say that somebody loves insurance. I love talking about insurance. I get up at the seminars and I make jokes about myself because I say, I'll say, this insurance is not exciting, but I'm going to make you laugh and we're going to learn some things and we're going to have fun doing this. And, you know, you got to make fun wherever you are. But, you know, we have a staff and a team. Some of them are waiting uh, on the phones right now. Uh, they just love helping people, and they're compassionate and understanding. They're going to take the time to listen. And so, yeah, make an appointment. Uh, understand that we're going to take you by the hand and walk you through. If you're within 12 months of getting on Medicare or turning 65, you want to talk to us. You know, the sad thing is so many people, and it's no fault of their own, but that's why this program is so important that all the platforms that you have as far as interacting with people, you know, some people on Part A that, you know, have these bills come in, they think, well, you know, you're always going to have a deductible. You have a deductible. That's just the way it is, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to pay it. And a lot of people are paying this when they don't need to be paying it because they think it's part of health care, even if they are on Medicare. You know, Rob, I know we often talk about our busy time being that annual enrollment period. But, you know, like what Mark was stating about the compassion that we have, um, this month, July, June, right, for July 1st effectives, we wrapped up yesterday, last day of the month. Last day of the month is always a hustle at our office, right? Getting everything in, making sure things are in. We're waiting on the government sometimes to activate a Part B or something of that nature. And last night, I was at home, 7, 8, 9 o'clock p.m. I had agents still calling me, trying to help people that were last minute getting coverage for July 1st. What we do on a day-to-day basis and sit down, like Mark was talking about, that compassion, but July was actually our busiest month so far this year. Everybody was saying it's like an AEP month. Like, we were busy. And you think of it, you know, again, being a certain time of year, but we do have ability to help people, if they're in a situation, look for coverage that might be more robust for them, such as five-star plans helping them with their medications. My team literally went to a pharmacy the other day that they found that was helping a couple of their clients with co-pays and having lower co-pays and, you know, just went out and said, how are you doing this? Can we meet? And we've been referring some people where they have medications, you know, to this place and getting them a huge discount on their prescriptions as well. So, you know, we're always digging and always looking for those answers and always looking on how we can help people, you know, make what they need more affordable and, you know, imp- improve that quality of life. All right, we're going to come back just a couple of moments. Don't forget, July 6, 6 o'clock, Fairfield in Washington, 451 Racetrack Road, Washington, PA, July the 11th, 6 p.m., Penn Hills Library. Uh, of course, 1037 Stotler Road is that location, Pittsburgh, 15235. And here's how you reserve your space. It's free, but you got to do this. You can either call 888-818-6334. We have advisors standing by until noon. That's 888-818-6334. Or go to MediConnectInsurance.com and click on the Seminars tab. Laura and Mark and I are going to be back with more. This is the Inside Connection MediConnect on KDKA, 100.1 FM, AM 1020. Pat Septak, two minutes away with the news at the bottom of the hour at 9.30. 100.1 FM and AM 1020 KDKA, covered by J.P. Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing company. It's Marty Griffin. I have seen so much angst and anger these days that, you know what's overwhelmed me with joy and optimism? This Get Marty. The folks in this community that have stepped up, you can't help your neighbor if you hate your neighbor. Get Marty epitomizes that opportunity to help people, feed people, clothe people, educate people. If you need me, get Marty at kdkradio.com. It's where we will find a way to help you. Get Marty is brought to you by the Bowser Family Foundation. Matt Bird's Plumbing, now part of the Armstrong Comfort Solutions family. UPMC and Robert Pierce and Associates. From the Aetna Medicare Solution Studio. Proud to be the voice of Pittsburgh. 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA News Now. It's 70 degrees at Pittsburgh International at 930. I'm Pat Septak. A shooting in Robinson Township is under investigation this morning. The victim, a three-year-old boy. According to Allegheny County 911, police and medics were called to the 100 block of Village Drive shortly before 2 yesterday afternoon. The child was shot in the leg outside and is expected to be okay. 
Police say it appeared to be a grazed wound. Police are still looking for the gunman. In Butner County, there is a renewed effort to solve a decades-old unsolved homicide. State police say 22-year-old Vicki Sins was last seen back in 1981 walking on Route 8 from the Rusty Nail Pub in Butner Township. Over a week later, the woman's body was found under Brook DeVore Road in Summit Township. Pennsylvania Crime Stoppers is now offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest or the solving of the cold case. With summertime comes more bugs, and that means there's more stings and bites, too. One of the issues is this proliferation of ticks over the last several years. On the BK Morning Show, AHN Dr. Kip Jennifer says if your child gets a tick bite, don't panic. Certainly, yeah, try to remove the tick if possible. If you can't, then we can certainly uh, see them in the ER. They can be removed. Um, if they've been embedded for a period of time, sometimes we'll offer antibiotics if necessary. He says they are seeing a little bit of some West Nile virus cases coming up in Fayette County. In sports, the winning streak continues. The Bucks beat Milwaukee last night 8-7 to at PNC Park. They'll play again this afternoon at 4.05. You can hear it all on 93.7 The Fan. We've got sunny skies and 70 degrees in Pittsburgh. I'm Pat Septak. Our next update at 10. And stay up to date minute by minute on our Twitter feed at KDKA Radio. Here's Dr. Sean Ritchie, founder of Tri-State Neuropathy Centers, the region's leader in treating peripheral neuropathy. When we started this in 2013, Tri-State Neuropathy Centers had six patients. I can't believe how many people suffer with this. We have seen over 11,000 patients and we've helped over 90%. We have the most powerful FDA-approved, drug-free, non-surgical technology designed to actually address the cause of neuropathy. We're always keeping ahead of the game to make sure that these patients are getting the best of the best. That's the best part of getting up every single day to know that whoever's going to be coming through my door they have been through a long journey of hopelessness when we get to qualify them and start to focus on getting back to gardening playing with your grandkids fishing hunting it's just a joy to be able to help people do that let tri-state neuropathy centers help you get your life back call 724-940-9000 today that's 724-940-9000 tri-state neuropathy centers locations throughout the area learn more at marydanceden.com the KDKA AccuWeather Forecast is brought to you by J.P. Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing replacement contractor. Call 412-829-7711. For today, a thunderstorm or two, remaining humid, high of 81 degrees, and remaining sticky for tonight, a thunderstorm around a low of 67. Watch for a couple heavy thunderstorms for tomorrow. Storms can bring hail and damaging wind gusts high 78. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Matt Benz, 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDK. The following is paid for by MediConnect. These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. All right, back. Mark Clark, Lauren Uran. This is the Inside Connection MediConnect. Don't forget, representatives till noon, never a charge for their services. 888-818-6334. 888-818-6334. MediConnectInsurance.com. Laura. Thanks, Rob. So, you know, our discussion today is about Medicare Part A. So we talked a lot about hospital. But what else does Part A cover? Um, so it does cover skilled nursing, but very loosely. Um, so the first 20 days are covered with Medicare if you go into a skilled nursing facility, which for a lot of people, first off, the skilled nursing facilities know that, right? So yeah. they usually if it's like a quick, you know, shoulder rehab after surgery, they're trying to get you in and out within 20 days. However, after day 20, you're going to be hit with $200 copay a day until your 100th day of skilled nursing. After 100 days, Medicare covers nothing. And that's why people like Tim Seckler, Julian Gray, Zachariah Brown are so busy to help you protect those assets. And, you know, it sounds pretty crazy to use 100 skilled nursing days, but my grandma was in day 96. Yeah. She had fallen, broken her tailbone. Um, so she went into the hospital for that. Then she went into a rehab facility. Well, in the rehab facility, you know, she was 86 years old. Um, she was having some other issues. Well, here she has a massive heart attack in the skilled nursing. So back to the hospital, back to the cardiac unit, get her kind of cleared up from that, goes back to skilled nursing. So we reinstate the days there, right? And um, she falls. She had a really bad mm. fall. And they told my dad, they were like, oh, you know, it's a goose egg. We sent her to the ER to get looked at, but... 
She was covered, her entire face down her neck, bruises. Mm. The nurses that saw her actually cried. It was that bad. But, you know, because of this, she was in, and then she couldn't kind of get her feet under her to do the rehabilitation, and she really ended up day 96, and that was where we had to call into the home because, you know, their house wasn't wheelchair accessible. So things like that do happen, and it can be unexpected, and that's, again, why adding something to your Medicare coverage, because what you're just getting from the government, right, might not be what you need in that scenario. Um, Also covered is home health care, but extensively, you know, as little costs are incurred by the patient for this type of service. And you can carry the overhead of a home or living situation, which is less of a burden on insurance. Um, therefore, this care is like, you know, covered a little bit more comprehensively. And then, Mark, I'm going to hand it over to you to talk about the hospice portion, because, again, you've been in the hospice realm. So Absolutely. Yeah, I spent almost 10 years uh, as a hospice chaplain. And, uh, you know, if there's something that I think we do right in this country is we help people with hospice. You know, your dying days are days that are stressful. They're stressful for your family. Um, it, it, it's one of my, the, I'm honored that I was a part of that in my life, helping people pass from this life to the next. And, and Medicare Part A is what provides that for you. Uh, you get that benefit. Most drugs aren't going to cost you more than $5. Uh, you know, and, you know, hospice care gives you a skill, gives you a nurse that comes to your home, gives you uh, uh, a, an aide that will come help you with ADLs, a uh, chaplain or a priest if you want that, a social worker that will help you and your family. Everybody that's qualified for hospice, uh, you know, the doctor has to say that you have an end-stage diagnosis, and I'm giving you way too much information about that, right? You can tell I've worked in that field, but... Uh, Hospice is a wonderful and a beautiful thing, and you should never go without it. And you don't have to uh, when you're on Medicare Part A. It's it's a part of it. Well, I know, you know, from knowing you, Mark, and knowing some stories you've shared with me, but also going through it with my own grandparents, um, again, some of those hospice workers are just phenomenal and Absolutely. amazing. And, you know, really just, like you said, it's a beautiful thing if you haven't, you know, had the experience um you know, they are wonderful. They're out there kind of in really a needful moment of mm-hmm. your life, of your family's life, kind of putting their issues aside and just kind of focusing on, on you. I know when my grandmother, you know, was on hospice, um, I had stayed the night, um, you know, was a little upset. And the hospice worker actually, you know, called my parents and was like, hey, you know, your daughter's here. Just want to let you know, <laughs> you know, it was very, very sweet. Um, but they are amazing. So, You know, now that we have a better handle on Part A costs and coverage, we also need to discuss a recent law change that impacts Medicare Part A and specifically for those who have health savings account through their employer. So it's imperative to know that once you sign up for Medicare, you have to stop contributing to that HSA. So there is a six-month look-back period when enrolling on to Medicare at age 65. So because HSAs are funded with pre-tax dollars, if you keep contributing inside the six-month window of activating your Part A or utilizing your Part A, um, you could be subject to back taxes in the amount of an additional 6%, 6% when withdrawn. Um, to, so, to simplify this, if you have an HSA and you're going to receive at least Part A at the age of 65, you don't want to contribute to that HSA once you're within six months of your Part A going into effect. Otherwise, you could receive a tax penalty. So my dad, for example, you know, I know he took his Part A, you know, when okay. he turned 65, but he's planning to still work. Um, and he does have an HSA. So that six months leading up to, again, activating that, we don't want to contribute to that HSA. But we do encourage people a lot of time through our seminars and when working with them that activating that A at 65, even if you're going to continue to work, mm-hmm. um, can be helpful, especially when you're going to turn the B on because you're in the system already. It's as simple as you're in the system, you're easier to find, so the Part B paperwork is going to be processed. And I think pretty much every month, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark, we're always waiting on some Bs to come through, essentially. Yep, yep always. And it does seem like it's easier. once If they already have their Part A, that means they already have their Medicare number. They already have that red, white, and blue card. They just don't have the B activation date. And, you know, it, it seems like it goes much smoother and easier, and we can... Uh, actually move people forward in the rest of their coverage with Medicare 
much much easier if uh, if they have that already in place. So and again, this is a newer law that just hit the rule books within the last year. So if you do have questions on how to successfully manage the setup, um, or like Rob, if you have questions about how to get into your SSA.gov account or you know take a look at some of those things, yeah. feel free to give us a call. We do have again live advisors today till noon. Um, there's never a fee for our services. Even if you just have a general question, you want to call call in and ask that. 888-818-6334. We're there to answer um, and help you out with any of those questions relating to Part A, HSA, um, and any of your Medicare needs. And, you know, a little bit about this month, too. So uh, we had a really busy month in the office, um, our busiest this year mm -hmm. um, with sales. We've been hustling. But we also have, at this time of year, um, our certifications coming out. So we start in this ramp-up period of we have to now get prepared for that upcoming annual enrollment period. So AHIP, uh, which is a certification we have to take to then submit with all of our other certifications for the carriers, was released um, a couple weeks ago. And then all the carriers are starting to release their certification. Um, so on top of being one of our busiest months, we're also having to do our studies and do all the things that we need to do to remain licensed, certified, and be able to, you know, uh, assist our consumers to the uh, the best of our ability. And, and you know, the important part about that, Lauren, is that, you know, our agents, the people that work for MediConnect, we're on top of it. If there's changes to Medicare, if there are changes to plans that are coming for next year, we're informed, we're educated, and so now we can properly educate you. It It's the misinformation that's out there that really causes people the biggest problem, and that's why we're here, Rob. We're here to to help quell that misinformation. We're here to help stop that misinformation and educate people, help them understand how all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. Uh, and it's that's a very important thing because mistakes can be made. And don't forget that YouTube channel now closing in on 5,000 subscribers. So pretty impressive, huh? Isn't that wonderful? It and is. there's a lot of great pieces out there. Again, if you're following our YouTube channel, if you're following our Facebook, um, we're going to keep you in the know. I think, again, that's why this radio show is so impactful, because as there's breaking Medicare news, right, we're going to have it out there. But now it won't be, you know, you have to wait till Saturday. You can actually check one of those mediums out and get the news um, as it's coming out. All right, again, July 6, 6 o'clock, Fairfield in Washington, uh, PA. And then July the 11th at 6 p.m., Pan Hills Library, Stotler Road, Pittsburgh. They're also coming to Butler, Coriopolis, Bethel Park, Glenshaw, and Vandergriff in the coming weeks. MediConnectInsurance.com. Click on the Seminars tab. Live advisors standing by until noon today, 888-818-6334, 888-818-6334. We're going to come back and kind of review the content from today's show in Medicare Plan A. But is there anything else in the final even minute or two that you want to cover about that either one of you you Go know ahead. again i just think it's really important to make sure that you're starting that a timely because that's something we see you know bite people starting that a and that b timely um again this is why the seminars are so important rob because as you're getting close to that age of 65 even if you're continuing to work having that education is very important and the seminars really do piece everything together mm -hmm. um, from an educational standpoint and our seminars really are just focused on how medicare operates it's kind of you know i think of it as getting you in the know for what you need to know to be prepared i had a couple come in um a few weeks ago and really they had last minute sort of um, retirement decision. So they yeah. both were already eligible for Medicare, but uh, the education that I had to push into a two week time frame, it's really a lot better to get that knowledge prior to making those decisions. Because then when we get down into your specific needs, we can focus a little bit more. I felt like their heads were spinning. They were a little bit overwhelmed. We got them taken care of, um, but it was a three or four appointment process right there just to get them everything that they needed. So starting that in advance is just really going to benefit you in the long run. All right, short break. We'll come back. Mark, Laura, one more segment. This is the Inside Connection, MediConnect, every Saturday right here on the radio. This is where it all happens between uh, 9 a.m. and 10. And again, you can join us by getting that Odyssey app or going to kdkradio.com. And remember, we always stream the show live on their Facebook page as well. 888-818-6334, MediConnectInsurance.com. KDKARadio.com gets you information fast. At KDKARadio.com, get the facts you need on your mobile without the navigation hassles. It's next level service. Try it now.
kdkaradio.com. Is your life moving in the right direction? Or are you feeling lackluster about your dreams, your goals, and your future? We can help. Watch Hope Today for creative and practical ideas on how to live a life of faith in 2023. From work to family to health and money, we believe every situation has a solution. And we take a closer look at all of it on Monday through Friday on Hope Today at 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Cornerstone Television Network. That's Verizon Fios Channel 505 or Channel 805 on Comcast Xfinity. Hi, I'm Tom Connors. Went to Mark Patrick's hypnosis seminar February 6, 2019. Nothing worked before. Left there and never smoked again amazing easy affordable and guaranteed a year later with my wife michelle attended mark patrick's weight loss seminar she lost 18 pounds and i lost 43 in eight weeks it's true he smoked two packs a day and nothing worked until mark patrick hypnosis now we're losing weight together eating healthy full on half the food crazy enjoying exercising who would have believed mark patrick hypnosis really works it's amazing i can breathe again my blood pressure went down and i've got so much energy so much energy and look great Join Mark Patrick Seminar's early bird special, only $49.99. Hypnosis designed to destroy unwanted cravings. Seminars Thursday, July 13th at the Holiday and Express and Suites Pittsburgh and Green Tree at 875 Green Tree Road. Weight Loss Seminar 530. Stop Smoking Seminar 8. Or Saturday, July 15th at the Doubletree Hotel Monroeville Convention Center. Weight Loss Seminar 11. Stop Smoking Seminar 2. Register MarkPatrickSeminars.com. Beauty, durability, and value. For a limited time, get free installation on any NatureStone garage floor. Call or visit NatureStone.com to schedule your free cost estimate. Spots are filling up quickly, so act now. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's NatureStone. SchultzFord.com. 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 These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. All right, we are back, and let me just commend you. I know you've been working with Marty on his little inside stories, and, of course, you're the inside connection. Just talk about this story. This is, and, you know, Mark was talking about the compassion of MediConnect. This is a great example, Lauren. Yeah, so I'm working with, um, if you've seen the, uh, I think it was a Twitter tweet. Yeah. I, I'm not good with the social media uh, video of Honest John at the airport, you know, kind of currently working with him to just kind of, Help him maybe retire. Um, I know there's a GoFundMe page out there from Marty um, for this gentleman, but he's you know continuing to work um, and really just if he doesn't continue to work, can't afford um, his needs. Really, he just got diagnosed with um, Mac lung that he shared on the story, and you know his healthcare costs are going to be a little bit, but his cost of living too. Um, you know from what he would make if he just retired today and didn't have that income is not going to be affordable. So. Um, we're trying to pull out all the stops and kind of kind try, trying to come up with some creative ways to help him. So um, Andrew, one of our agents at MediConnect, and I have been um, personally working with him. And um, he's amazing. You, you think about, like, when I sat down with him, I was just like, you think, sorry, I get a little teary. But you just think about Pittsburgh. And, like, my family is born and raised here, right? And you just think about that salt of the earth, hardworking person that never asks for anything that just... Went out you know, and worked for it. Right. He's he's phenomenal. And I just, I really, I you know, if you haven't seen the video, um, you know, I know if you're friends with Marty on Facebook, he has it. We have right. we have posted it. Um, amazing individual. And just trying to get that awareness out there to get him some help. Well, that's why MediConnect works. And Marty is out there every day trying to make it work for people as well, too. So it's all good. All right. What do you say we kind of recap the content of today's show that was a lot about Medicare Part A? That's right. We talked about Part A. And Part A is going to cover... Your hospital, your skilled nursing, your hospice, and your home health care. Um, so next week we're going to be talking about Part B and how that works and how they kind of work together. Um, Lance will be here with us next week in studio um, to talk to us about that. And um, you know we talked a little bit about it, but our YouTube channel, MediConnect Insurance, closing in on five thousand subscribers. So that's phenomenal. We have some great material up there. So if you haven't been able to get out there, check it out. Um, if you're watching us on Facebook, right? You can get to see kind of the video of us, but, um, you know, if you're just listening in the radio, I don't know. I was always the type of person, hey, what does that person look like? You know, so uh, you can kind of see Sean, Lance, myself um, in some of those videos too, Brian. Uh, so get to know us and get to meet the people that you listen to every Saturday. Then also our Facebook page at MediConnect PGH. If you like our page, um, we do have early hints on Fridays that drop about the trivia question to get that $15 gas card, um, as well as, again, we're posting all of that 
um, information that we're putting out there on YouTube, that we're putting out there from our uh, podcast with CBS KDKA News. Um, so again, all that information is out there as well as, you know, if you ever need to really get in touch with us, it's right there on your Facebook feed. So, um, and Mark, you know, anything you wanted to touch upon to review from today? You know, I, I think it's important to understand that, uh, you know, I was at a family reunion last week and I had two family members come up to me. These are uh, educated, very successful people. And they were like, I'm coming up on the 65. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. And, you know, I, wa I want everybody to know that it, it is okay to have questions. It's not embarrassing to have questions. It's not uh, uh, shameful. It, Medicare is a complicated thing. And so feel free to give us a call. We want to help you. We want to walk you through this. We want to make sure you don't make the mistakes that are very common that could sometimes the mistakes people make can cost them more money. And you talked, Mark, a lot about our compassion and the compassion of the team back there and how interested we are in this. Again, like I talk about insurance all the time, right? I think it's fun. <laughs> but, you know, if I'm going to go build a rocket, I'm not an aerospace engineer. Yeah. If I honestly, people sometimes ask me tax questions, but I, I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not an accountant. Right. You know, somebody else that needs to handle my stuff. I'm not great with that, you know. Right. But what I do know is Medicare and we are the experts. And that's, that's where, again, not only is it confusing, complex, and, hey, you know, I need some help. It's not even – this is where you want to go because we're going to make that so simple for you. We live it. We breathe it every single day, all day. We find complex scenarios where, you know, there might be something that is a little bit complex or is a little bit different. And, you know, mm -hmm. odds are somebody in our office has seen it. We work together to help on those specific issues and, you know, figure out what's – because not one size fits all. Absolutely. And we've got live advisors standing by till noon, 888-818-6334. They're happy to help. And you want to read out those seminars for us, Mark? Sure. Seminars, uh, July 6th at 6 p.m., Fairfield Inn in Washington. That's uh, 451 Racetrack Road, Washington, PA. And then we got July 11th at 6 p.m., Penn Hills Library. That's uh, 1037 Stotler Road. Uh, we're going to be in Butler, Coriopolis, Bethel Park, Glenshaw, Vandergrift. We've got a lot of exciting seminars coming up, a lot of good presenters. You can learn a lot about Medicare and what it's going to take for you to get the health care you need in those uh, senior years. Wonderful. So if you have a question about that seminar, again, 888-818-6334. You can give us a call now or MediConnectInsurance.com, Seminars tab to register. You know, it's amazing when you think about uh, Mark and his life and, you know, preaching the word and being up on that pulpit doing what he does. You're still doing a lot of good. You realize that. Well, th yes. Thank you. It's, and I, I, it's, it's a again, different it's, calling, but it's, 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 it's all good. It, it is. It, I, my calling's always been to help people. So I enjoy helping people. I love helping people. I feel like if more people in the world would just try to make the world a better place every day then it would be a better place. Being that you, you, know, you did some clergy with hospice, and that amazes me. We're so blessed to have hospice. But isn't it true that all these people who are there dying, the thing they worry about the most are people they're leaving behind? Yeah, yeah, that's a big concern, absolutely. Um, and I've had those conversations with a lot of people uh, concerned. Some, you know, uh, I'm a firm believer that when people are ready to go, that's when they let go and they go. Uh, one of the big issues we've had to wrestle with over the years in that setting is, uh, you know, I'm worried about my family. And that's when you have to counsel the family to let them know that it's okay to go. We're going to be okay. And here's how it works. One of the things they don't want to leave them with are bills. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> get this stuff covered and get it done and, and give yourself peace of mind and, and be able to enjoy the life that you've worked so hard for. And not even bills. There's so many people that want to leave something behind to their family. Right. Yeah. So like right. we've talked about, you know, having that level of experts, right? Like a Tim Suckler yeah. and people to kind of protect your assets and us to help save costs on Medicare so you can save those assets and leave something behind that you've worked your whole life for. You don't want to see it gone in the blink of an eye into a nursing home. Mm -mm. That's right. Mm -mm. All right. Last thing before we go, uh, timeline. So what is uh, something somebody should be thinking about who's going to be 65 here very soon? You know, if they're going to be 65 very soon, give us a call now because um, we see so many times where in the situation I talked a little bit earlier where there is paperwork to get 
the ball rolling sometimes on your part A or part B, and it's the federal government. So how quickly do we think they operate, right? I know like the IRS is two years back from even opening mail or something like that. <laughs> so we want to get on that ASAP. If you're coming on to that 65, Mark, give us a call, sit down with us, um, and we can help you get the ball rolling on all that. Listen, thank you, Mark. We've seen a lot of you in the future. You did good, and uh, thank you so much for spending some time with thank us. Thank you, Rob. All right, so what are you doing the rest of this 4th of July holiday? Anything? Organizing, cleaning, and just getting caught up around the home. Nothing exciting. <laughs> this is what I'll be doing. You're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> how right. about you Mark? all right good how about you mark yeah uh picnic monday doing things around the house uh, it's nice to have some free time so enjoy with, the family with right? all those kids did you ever have any free time you and <laughs> that's a good thing i came from a big family you know what we had a whole lot of fun the fourth of july growing up oh yeah best years of my life i wish i could step through a door and go back you know what mm -hmm. i mean maybe yeah. someday yeah. all right uh, we're gonna take a break we'll come back on the other side 888-818-6334 mediconnectinsurance.com the preceding was paid for by mediconnect information on the program is intended to solely further the public's general knowledge about the product opinions expressed should not be relied upon for any purpose by any member of the audience news radio kdka does not guarantee the accuracy of any of the information heard on the preceding program the Big K Morning Show with Larry and Marty. Breaking news and making a difference. When did you reimagine that Pittsburgh, downtown, was going to be a, a place where people would want to live? And that's certainly come true. We've always had great hopes that, that our city would continue to be a beacon for the region. The Big K Morning Show with Larry and Marty. Weekday mornings, 530 till 10 on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. Hi, I'm Joe Patonchnik from JP Roofing and Siding. I've been in the business for 42 years and have grown in the business by hard work and customer satisfaction. Trust your next roofing and siding project with JP Roofing and Siding. I'm offering homeowners $500 off of your next roofing and siding project. We also offer a 10 year warranty on all labor. Please call us at 412 829 7711. For a free estimate, that's 412-829-7711. J.P. Roofing and Siding. Your local 8 Coop.